Now invite His Excellency Dr. Sanyaga Salahuddin Uno, Minister of Tourism and Creative Economy of the Republic of Indonesia. Your Excellency, you have the floor. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mr. President, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, I thank the President of the General Assembly, His Excellency Abdullah Shahid, for putting the spotlight on tourism in the post-pandemic recovery discussions. Today, we need to look also at the role of millennials and Gen Zs in sustainability, not only as tourists, but also as investors. I have my two daughters upstairs, Gen Z, but you would be investors as well. Therefore, engaging with the demographic on the sustainable tourism should be our priority. There is an opportunity to shift the focus of discussions of mitigating negative impacts towards creating positive impacts from tourism, i.e. structuring travel that funds the protections of nature, brain gain, empowering marginalized and indigenous communities. And I learned it by heart that we forgot that it is the collective power by creating jobs. It is jobs, jobs, and jobs for the local communities which will help tourism to be future-proof. Our program of Tourism Village integrates local accommodations, attractions, and complementariness under village governance with local wisdom. This program has proven to elevate the livelihood of villages communities as it is shown in Panglipuran Tourism Village in Bali where it generated more than 1.45 million US dollars of revenues in 2020 in the midst of pandemic. And finally, to ensure a resilient tourism sector, it is important that the movement of people and travel can contribute to take place safely even during a pandemic. In this context, we need to further discuss of, on how we can harmonize health protocol standards for cross-border travels. 